I'm CJ, and I'm one of the restoration craftsmen at Thomas Jefferson's Poplar Forest in Bedford County, Virginia. One of the aspects of my job is to help recreate some of the woodwork that you see in and around the house. Started in 1806, Poplar Forest was constructed by a team of hired and enslaved craftsmen using nothing but hand tools. Today, to honor their craftsmanship, we in the restoration team also use only hand tools very similar to the ones they would have used nearly 200 years ago to recreate some of the beautiful wooden architectural details around the house. Here's a look at some of the tools that we use. One of the most commonly used tools in our workshop is the hand plane. Now, at some point in your life, you've probably seen it, just about everyone has, uh, and it's just a, an iron blade in a block of wood, and that's really as simple as it is. This particular plane is called a four plane, and what it does is uh, it goes across the grain of the wood. It's got an iron here that's got more of a curved shape to it, and that allows it to scoop out those wood fibers. Uh, so if we're really trying to make progress in getting a board down to a thickness, um, or just get down beyond saw marks or axe marks, and in this case, I've got some axe marks here. Uh, you can see that's definitely uh, needs some work, and that's, uh, Jefferson's not gonna be happy with that in his house. So uh, we'll go ahead and use this plane to, uh, to get this thing down. Now, as I said, it's used to cross the grain. And it's taking really big shavings. We just want to get all of those marks out. There we go. So now what we've got with this surface is we've got something smoother, but it's still got, I don't know if you can see them here in the, in the light, um, we've, we've got some waviness in the surface and all the marks aren't quite out of it yet. So what we want to use next is a triplane. And what a triplane is, it's a kind of a bench plane, but it's much longer and it's used for flattening boards. In fact, if you've heard the phrase uh, tried and true, uh, that's where the phrase comes from. Is if something is tried and true means it is flat and level, much like you hear about a person being on the level. Uh, being tried and true is another quality of well, anybody, but particular, particularly carpenters. Now, if this plane is taking long, smooth cuts, let me move my brace out of the way here. There we go. All right, let's try that. There we go. All right, and we have a much, much smoother, cleaner surface there for sure. That's ready to uh, be painted or finished. And you might be able to tell it's, it's a lot of effort to do this work. Um, and, uh, but you know, we do it because uh, we love it and we respect the work that uh, Hemings and uh, other enslaved and hired craftsmen did on Poplar Forest those many years ago. So that's the uh, bench plane, and we'll talk about some other planes here coming up. By far, most of the work at Poplar Forest has been building the trim work in the house. Now, if you've been to Poplar Forest or Monticello, you know that everywhere you look around every window, above every floor, of below every ceiling is a piece of remarkably ornate trim work and all of the trim work at Poplar Forest is all made by hand in our shop by the restoration department. Um, the way we build the, these pieces of moldings uh, is with a series of hollows and rounds and these uh, in different combinations create uh, basically an infinite number of, of shapes um, that uh, capture the light and shadow in different ways. Uh, here's an example of a, a hollow and round. This is a pair. It's a, it's a matching pair, so they go together uh, 
like this, but of course they can be uh, um, uh, mixed and matched uh, as you please or as the design likes. And in just a minute, I'll show you how we use them on some of the work that we do. So say we want to make a, a hollow. Um, the first thing we're going to want to do is designate some kind of a shoulder for our plane to, to ride in. There we go. Now I've got a nice cove there. See, we got a nice cove. Right. Then uh, let's go ahead and put uh, some kind of a round over on the other side here. So what we'll do is we'll take that triplane. Remember him, this guy here, and we're going to establish a plane of reference here. Now, normally these are all laid out. Uh, very carefully with full size drawings. There's a lot more to this work than I'm showing you right now, but in the interest of giving you a basic understanding so that you know what it is we, we do around here. There we go. Now I'm going to take this. Remember this guy? This has got the uh, called the, the hollow, and this makes the uh, concavity, remember, it makes the opposite of what the sole is shaped like. see this better side here you get a there's your, your cove here made by the, the round like that now we've got this side made by the hollow look at that so that is how these hollow and rounds work on behalf of the corporation for thomas jefferson's poplar forest and the Poplar Forest Restoration Department. Thank you for watching. And if you're interested in more of our programs or learning more about our history, please visit our website, www.poplarforest.org. Follow us on Facebook or follow us on Instagram at Poplar Forest or our Restoration Department, Poplar Forest underscore Restoration. Thanks for watching.